The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In our responsorial psalm, we proclaimed, I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. And one of the strophe, we said, One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate His temple. Dear friends, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this psalm is proclaiming who we are. We are the people who live and gaze on the loveliness, loveliness of the Lord in His temple. And we are here and we see the many good things the Lord is doing to us who live in the land of the living. Kaya po na, napakasaya, napakapaganda po to be together in this celebration. Because we know we are in the house of the Lord. We are in the land of the living. And this sound is further deepened and confirmed in our Gospel, taken from the Gospel of Luke, which is a follow-up of the Gospel of yesterday. Yesterday, Jesus went to Nazareth, but he was rejected. He was not welcomed by his own kababayans. And so today, Jesus lived, left Nazareth and went to Capernaum. Uh, Father Suguro, you still remember Capernaum, when you visited Capernaum, where you have the house of Peter, and the nearby is the synagogue of Capernaum. And that is where this episode happens when Jesus is preaching there. There is this possessed man and says, Who are you? You are Jesus of Nazareth, the Son. Uh, the, the Holy One of God. We see here a beautiful contrast or a continuation. When Jesus is in Nazareth, his Kababayans knew that he was the son of Mary, one of their own. So they could not imagine why is this person so powerful in his speech. They could not believe. They did not accept him and so they rejected him. Interestingly, also the devil recognizes you are Jesus, the Holy One of God. You are, yes, you are from Nazareth, but you are also 
the, the Son of God. Okay. You are God. We see here a beautiful transition. The people, his own kababayans, only, rec only recognized him as one of their own. But the devil proclaims, no, he's not really just from Nazareth. He's the Holy One of God. He is God. And why was he proclaiming Jesus as the God? Uh, because, well, he was the evil one. He was on the other side. He was actually afraid. He knew that his end had come. And indeed, the end of the devil truly took place when Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. There was an exorcism. He, he made the devil live. And the people said, Wow, they were so amazed. Said, wow, grabe naman, kagaling naman itong, itong Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy One of God. Even the devil listens and abides. And he, he, the devil himself is afraid. And they live. What an amazing power Jesus had. But the beautiful good news, yesterday in, the, in Luke chapter 4, in the visit of Nazareth, Jesus has said, Today, today, this is scripture, liberation is fulfilled in your hearing. And we will say the same thing. This event of the expulsion of the devil from a man who was possessed continues to happen today in our midst, in our beautiful community. And when does it happen? Every time, first, that we hear or listen to the word of God, the devil trembles. Because when you hear the word of God proclaimed, and you say, yes, Lord, I believe in your word, Naku, sasabihin ni Satanas, nawala na naman ako, talo na naman ako. Kasi, the word of God liberates. When we listen and abide by the word of God, we, be, we belong to the children of light, na sinasabi ni St. Paul in the first reading to the Thess 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 Thessalonians. But not only that, so beautiful, because when we receive the body of Christ, all the more life, eternal life is given us. And finally, the one that I really appreciate in this parish, you have in your midst also one who continues that ministry of Jesus of Nazareth, the, the Holy One of God, the expulsion of demons. Every time our dear parish priest uh, uh, Father Jason sits down on, on his chair there. Amazing! Pinapatalsik niya si Satanas. Thank you, Father Jason, for your dedication in continuing the work of Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy One of God. You, what you do at the confessional is truly amazing. You are able to drive away Satan, the Satan who tries to capture the souls, our people here in their sins. Every time you say, and by the power, by the authority of the church, I absolve you from all your sins. Wow, you truly have word, the powerful word, amazing. You are able to drive the evil one from our midst. Thank you, Father Jason, for, for showing the power of the Holy Confession. Every time, brothers and sisters, you approach your priest to receive the absolution of your sins, you make this event come alive again in you. You become, you, you get released from the evil one and you truly will belong to the holy temple of God. How good and beautiful it is, indeed, to be in the temple of God.
to be in this beautiful Paris, to be able to avail always of life from the Word to the Eucharist to the sacrament of confession. Amen. Before Bishop gives us our assignment for today, and let us again thank Bishop Rene Mayugba of the Diocese of Lawag for celebrating the Mass with us. Many of our bishops will be going to Mindoro, so we pray for their safety. Bishop, tatawid kayo ng dagat, no? So we pray because they will attend the installation and canonical possession of their new bishop of Mindoro, Bishop Moises Cuevas. So we pray also for the people of the diocese or vicariate bishop, no? Or diocese, vicariate of Calapan in Mindoro. Yes, indeed. Please be seated for a while. <laughs> Alam na alam na ni alam na alam niyo na that I like to give an assignment and the assignment is to make that which we have heard in the gospel truly become part of our lives. For today, uh, again two two parts of the assignment. I like to say I know that the parishioners love their parish and they love their parish priest. What is the sign that you love your parish your parish priest? When you go to confession to him, then I know, we know that you, you love your parish priest. And you know, when you go to your parish priest and go to confession, you are helping your parish priest. Napakalaking bagay na ang mga people of God go to the parish priest. If you want your priest to be holy, go to confession to him because it will uh, it will make his charism as a priest come alive because it is only the priest who can forgive give that absolution pag ibinigay yun yun na pagkakataon sa iyong pare wow yung inyong pare marirealize niya napakalaki pala yung blessing na hawak ko Honor and love Jesus Christ by honoring his priest by going to confession. Second, and this one is for all of us, the, the, the word of the priest at confession is, I absolve you. We are also, the spirit of the Lord has also been given to us. We also have the obligation to expel the demon from our communities, from our homes. Kailangan also at home, you, we learn to say to one another, O siya, patawad na. Pinapatawad na kita. Every time you are able and will, willing and able to forgive your own companions at home, you are exercising uh, your power to be an instrument of the expulsion of demons, you become an instrument of peace. After all, in the Beatitudes, one of the Beatitudes says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons or daughters, children of God. Just like proclaim in the Gospel today. So learn to forgive one another in your homes. Amen. Please rise.